Well, hello there. Welcome back, guys. We're gonna continue our trek through the Wusao Cave. If you remember, that's where we've stopped by the Sleepless Fountain, the last fountain before the Telkeen. So yes, in this episode, we're gonna be fighting the final Telkeen. And uh, before that, there's this wide open area which we're exploring. Hopefully, gonna explore to the full and kill every enemy on the way. For the most part, the enemies here are Dragonians and also some undead and other smaller monsters, but mostly Dragonians. So there's quite a lot of Death Lancer Dragonians, especially here. So you've got to be really careful. And this group of Dragonians, that was pretty close to the pre to the other one. So you know, if you're not quite, not careful, you could end up aggroing two groups at the same time. That mage, that mage had a bit of aura there, if you remember. The one that can reflect damage back back at you. Nice music in this place. Really epic stuff. Yeah, you see this coil of undead and stuff, so not really that tough or anything. You tried out the spellbreaker. I think that removed that skeleton mage's aura. So, uh, actually, actually, I don't know why I, I haven't tried casting Spellbreaker on those mages. They're going to mages, I should try it sometime. More Sepulchral Vims. Remember what I said in the last episode, they mostly fire based, so fire resistance is good here. Or just, just yeah, if you, if you see them getting ready into a position, just move away. But if you see we managing to tank them, fine. Alright. It's a regular health potion, not gonna pick it up because we've been checking them out. There's a lot of dragonians in this area in particular, just around this side. That's quite a lot of deathlands right there. That's you've gotta be careful if you're gonna aggro that many. And you know what time is it now? It's time to go into Colossus form! Yeah. See for times like these, Colossus form is really good. Just taking on a huge group of you know really challenging monsters. And look at that, even Colossus form we've been sustaining quite a quite a lot of damage. That says a lot. There we go. Cleaned out the whole place. Still got a bit more of a map to explore. Right here just some weaker enemies. It's not gonna hassle too long here. It's gonna Go quickly. I mean, you don't have to explore the whole area. The whole area. If you notice on the mini map, it says the next waypoint. That's basically that's basically where the Telkin is. But as you all know, I like to explore. There's that scroll of warriors song we still got, just in case if we need it. I'm surprised I haven't used it yet, actually. Nothing around here. Just greater health potions. And still just a bit dark spot right in the middle there. Just sprites really. Nothing too challenging. Although you do get sepulchral vims here sometimes. Like you saw, I fought just a couple couple of them just a bit in the other area. I think there's some around here spawn sometimes as well. You gotta always be prepared. Okay. That's uh should be the last group of monsters. All right, that should have done it. There's a bit of a dark spot there, but I don't think there's anyone there. And even if there is, they can, you know, bugger off. Right, so off to the Telkeen. Before we do that, we're gonna portal back to the merchants. We're gonna check with the merchants, buy some more health potions because we've got only 17 left. Now, Chang'an is pretty much the last city you've been in, so that's probably the best place to come but you can check with the other merchants of course I'll definitely advise you to always check your inventory and the amount of potions you've got just before each boss fight so here we go buying health potions mostly preparing for the for the typhon fight Telkin shouldn't take that many but there we go 60 should be enough hopefully for typhon I mean we might not even need to use that many it's just better to be safe and sorry but anyways, this is a part here I've skipped 
because it's been I've been checking through gear quite a lot and uh, I'm gonna skip this whole part all right so I skipped all my gear fiddling because I've been looking through tons of merchants trying to get some really good gear because the problem is a couple of armor pieces we're still wearing they got a bit too low armor value and I just don't want to be unprepared for Typhon that's all that's why I've been uh, checking but I couldn't find anything really so I decided to go on to fight the Telkin for now and then to see how things go later all right let's just change the ring for now because we need some cold resistance for this Telkin he deals cold damage with some of his attacks cold and vitality mostly you need but we already have vitality I've been deciding what to put on it this we don't have a huge amount of that good amulet relics yeah eventually I decided to just put anchor visors okay so other resistances seem to be fine so we're ready to fight the Talkeen, third Talkeen he's not too bad on normal difficulty it's legendary when he you gotta mostly watch out for him just make sure you got cold and vitality resistances and then you're off on a good foot really and here we are that bastard is freeing Typhon get him quickly by the time you get there Typhon is gone we're always too late always well never mind just gonna kill this Telkeen with a Colossus form and uh, notice his default act pretty much he shoots those beams at you I think if I'm not mistaken they're the ones that deal cold and vitality damage types and then you got those uh, like stalactites on top of the cave and this this is when it's most dangerous you know when they fall from above once again it's not so bad on normal it's on legendary you've got to be really watch out for it because you know if, if you happen to be under one of them it could deal so much damage could actually kill you and this bit of an unfair attack unfair attack as well because you know you can't see where they're gonna fall so you just got to be a bit lucky yeah otherwise it's not too much to worry about just make sure you've got the right resistances really right so we've destroyed him we've barely broken a sweat even but the typhoon is gonna be harder okay all right this we're gonna sell uh, just quickly check through our gear we've got here I've been sort of just trying to figure out what would be the best combination but the problem is there's always something that that's left ignored some important stat always no matter what combination so yeah going to have to deal with it when we're gonna fight the Typhon for now let's just proceed through this portal which will take us to Mount Olympus here we are we're in Olympus and we'll stop around here and in the next episode we shall tackle Typhon so I'll see you guys later bye bye